Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Now today I have got a June favourite for you. I have been collecting quite a bit of stuff up here. It's mainly beauty and skincare that I have collected that I've been loving throughout June and into May as well. Now these are quite heavily summer based and as we've been enjoying this beautiful weather here in Britain these past few weeks. I mean it's reaching like 30 degrees which is amazing. I used to hate summer because I used to be a bigger size and I used to hate wearing summer clothes and it's only really this year that I've actually enjoyed this warmer weather due to probably enjoying my summer clothes a little bit more um, and just feeling a lot more comfortable in myself and actually bearing my skin a little bit more. So without further ado we're going to get into this pile of beauty products that I've got here. So I'm going to start with now I've got three foundations here. So I've been loving wearing a tan just because I'm very pale and pasty I like to add a little bit of colour to my skin just so I feel a little bit more comfortable in myself so after I've applied the tan and I've washed off the excess the next morning I like to um, bear most of my skin I just like to cover up the um, redness and my blemishes and the um, dark under eye circles which I am showcasing probably really bad right now so I've been switching it up a little bit so a heavier duty foundation on a day like today that I've been doing I've been sweltering at work but I got a little bit of sunburn even though I did use sun cream um, so I got it on my forehead and my nose so I wanted more fuller coverage to cover that up so I've been using a mix of these two foundations now this one is the ordinary one and it is in the shade 1.0N and that is very fair neutral so I've been using a pump of this now this is the perfect colour for my natural skin tone and then I've been going in with the collection naturally matte all day fresh matte foundation in shade 4 and this is the warm beige so both this one is a high coverage foundation for it's a very very thin liquid and this one is a much thicker cloggier and I just mix the two together um, on the back of my hand you really don't need a lot of this because it can go a little bit too orangey um, grubby looking so I mix two of these on the back of my hand and I just dot them across my face and then I rub it in with a stippling brush so I've been loving these two for a heavy coverage and then I have been loving this Body Shop All-in-One BB Cream. Now it's probably not the best one out there and I'm probably contradicting myself a little bit purely because this is the only BB cream that I've been using but this is my July, uh, July, my June favourites and this is what I've been using on an everyday basis throughout the past month. So I thought I did right to feature it in here and it is shade 2 and it is, I'm obviously guessing all BB creams are exactly the same but it's very tinted and it's got like them weird little beaded um, things inside so I'm not too sure whether that is allowed anymore whether they've got to change that but anyway I don't know whether that's just in skincare or not but I just get a little bit of that rub it in the tips and in my fingertips and then rub that across my whole face I do use a um, brush from Real Techniques can't remember what it is but it's that really thin little foundation one it's quite the thick one sometimes I've blended it in with that as well and I quite like this I have to go over with my concealer um, just in the blemish prone areas just because it's really not a great coverage it's just to kind of add an or even finish and add a bit more colour into your skin if the tan has faded so I've been loving that I've been wearing this a lot but my skin is quite oily anyway and it's probably not the best mix so I do need to find a better one out there but I have been loving this this month and then going with the dewy skin tone look I've been lo loving the NARS Co Copper Cabana Illuminator I absolutely love this it's all taped up on the side here 
Um, my sister got this for me when she went to New York and she brought it back and I've been loving it. I only really like using it in the summer. I tend to go for more of a powdered highlighter but in the summer I've been wanting to go for more of a dewier, fresh faced look. So I've been using this straight after my foundation. I've been putting that on top and then I've only really been using my powdered just to finish it off and set in the t-zone area where i'm moist oily and then i will go across with the liquid lip and cheek stains from benefit i've got the red one and the rosy pink one i can't remember what they're called the benny tint ones and i've been using that on my cheek with a little bit of bronzer just under my cheekbone here just to add a little bit of depth into my skin and make it not look as round and chubby but yeah, I've been loving this along with my Benefit Hula one. So that one gives you a more sunkissed look because that's on the bronzed side of things. But yeah, I've been absolutely loving this. I put it on the highest points of my cheekbones, under my brows, down the ridge of my nose, on the cupid's bow and in the inner corner of my eyes. And it's been amazing. And the final beauty product that I am featuring here is the Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil. It's in this really cool school, um, space ship style um, packaging, obviously because they did that huge launch with the brows and it was out of this world campaign. And this is in shade... Three, so I think that is the medium brown one um, and I absolutely love this. I'm at the end of this now but I do have another one um, in my drawer. Now I've not been using this for brows. I've never actually got on with this with my brows but I have been doing a beauty technique. I've actually faked a few freckles now. I do actually have freckles that come out in the sun just across the ridge of my nose and onto my cheeks and then I do get them down here just under my eye too but when I put my foundation on they've kind of just disappeared away so very lightly um, I go over the top with this brow pencil and it just um, brings them out a little bit more and I feel like I've got more of that summer sun kissed glow and then I've just blended it in with my fingertip and I've done that straight after my foundation so it sinks in and then if I wanted to put a bit of powder over there it just um, covers it up that little bit more so it doesn't look stupid and it doesn't look like I've definitely drawn them on. I don't do this every single day. It's not part of my main um, makeup routine but I saw it online and I thought it was a really good idea and because I do get the freckles there I just wanted to make them a little bit more pronounced than what they usually are. Now, sticking with the skincare, I'm going to show you the tan that I've been loving, and I'm hoping it hasn't spilled on my bed, no. And it is the St. Moritz Professional Tanning Mousse in Medium. I've just picked up this other bottle that I've already gone through two so far this summer, and we are only on the 2nd of July today. I absolutely love this, it's super easy to use. It has been going a little bit patchy on me but that's because I haven't been doing the best skincare routine at the moment. I've kind of got a little bit lazy because I've got so hectic in my home life with one or two bits that's been going off these past couple of months. So it's made things quite, not difficult, but I've just got really tired and I've got back home at like 9pm at night so I've been wanting to just like watch Love Island and go straight to bed so I've been a little bit naughty but I have been on ASOS today and picked up one or two new beauty products because I've noticed a huge difference in my skin recently and I'm thinking of doing a video to chat about that to discuss as I've got that little bit older the differences that I've noticed in my skin and I think it's about time now that I take action with it before it gets worse. I know I'm only 25 but there's been quite a drastic change with my skin in the past year. But anyway that's another story because I can bamble on here. Um, so yeah I just do two to three pumps of this on my legs one pump on my arms and then as many pumps as it takes to go across my body and then with what's left over on the mitt I'll just go over my face and then on the backs and the bottoms of my hands just to gradually do them then I leave that to dry and then I do a second lot and if I know that I'm not bearing too much 
skin I'm just getting my arms and my legs out then I will just go over them too for the second lot I will sleep on this and I will say it does stain your bed sheet so that is the only downside to that um, it does come out um, but yeah it, it does stain your bed sheets unfortunately but the next morning you just quickly get in the shower quickly um, just wipe it off so you go under the hot running water don't use any product because obviously you'll have used it the night before and just with your hands just gently like wipe away the tan like that and you'll see um, the water turning a little bit browny orange and then once that goes to a regular water clear colour um, you know that all the excess has come off come out of the shower just dab your towel on your skin like that to pat to dry and you are good to go and it gives a lovely even sun-kissed look so on to hair care now and for a while I have been trying out different shampoos and conditioners I was going to do a hair care start um video but I wasn't sure how interesting that would be um, but a couple of months back I added the yellow in as the ombre and I switched up my shampoo because my hair was getting really bad and dandruff and it just wasn't well it wasn't really getting dandruff but it was getting greasy really quickly and it wasn't really styling very well so after a good cut adding the colour in I switched up my shampoo and conditioner and I also bought the purple one as well so about every two to three washes I would then go in with the purple shampoo and conditioner because that's quite drying and damaging on your hair so I didn't want to use that too much but then I started to notice that I was getting dandruff and I touch wood never suffer with dandruff I've always been quite lucky in that extent but I decided to switch back to my favourite shampoo and conditioner. This is my holy grail. This is what I have been using since university and I never really like to sway away. I do tend to mix it up to get different ones but I think after quite a few years of my hair getting used to it I decided I needed a bit of a break but it is back in my life. I use the Mega Shampoo and it's for everyday cleaning that's not so everyday. Um, and it's just really great it adds um, a bit of um, depth into the hair a bit of like a grubbiness into it um, without being the dirty grub it's quite nice and you can really work with it with different products to get a bit more of a voluptuous um, hair I'm guessing a bit of lift at the root because my hair's super flat and it does go but I do notice a difference after using this um, once you use a shampoo your hair does feel quite coarse and quite drying but then this is the beauty of the conditioner they really do work well together I get the mega conditioner and this really softens your hair and it gives that beautiful shine and it just they really great combination together it is a little bit more pricier I usually do it when they're on offer so it's like either I think it's usually three for ten pounds so I usually pick up the um, shampoo and conditioner and then I might get a hair care treatment so I might get the um, deep conditioning mask which I'll use every so often or I'll pick up an oil to put into my hair as well but yeah you can pick these up pretty much everywhere I just always look for the offer and they do so many different kinds so they do um, for limp hair they do for frizzy hair they do for colour hair um, yeah everything so I absolutely love these and the final bit which I think is going to be very very random but I had to include it in my video and it's these little clips um, so they're just simple um, little like butterfly grips um, these are only from Primark my mum got me them for Christmas and they came in a pack I think there was four there was two white and two black ones and these are my life I literally I get home from work and I just pin my hair back like the top part of my hair up um, if it's too hot like it was yesterday it was 30 odd degrees and I was sat outside so instead of using a bobble I just grabbed my hair up put it in a little bun and then clipped it to the side um, if I'm putting my makeup on I'll clip my hair back with this it's just a really great way of just pulling my hair back without having to use a bobble I'm putting kinks in my hair and I really do notice that if I tie my hair up around the crown area because I've kind of like got a double crown and it's quite low is the main 
is my main crown of my hair it gets a bit because it's very thin it gets very greasy in the roots very quickly um, I have trained my hair to wash every three days um, the third day is a bit of a push um, but the more I clip it back with this and I stop messing with it and I've not got it in a really tight ponytail the better my hair is so yeah these are my saviours and the final thing that I have been loving is a particular shop. Now, I never used to go into this shop before. It's only the past couple of years that I've really grown to like it. And that's after taking my blogging a bit more seriously. I became to notice this shop a lot more because other people had recommended them. They'd picked up one or two because they always have that one or two cult summer piece that everyone and his man and dog owns um, and you can probably guess this I'm going to have to cover up my dress because I ordered something um, but it is Zara I absolutely love this shop this is my recent haul that I did there from their summer sale still in the box because I love the packaging and what I have bought hasn't been suitable for 30 degrees and stuck in an office for work um, all day so yeah I absolutely adore shopping in Zara they've got some great pieces in there and key pieces for your summer trends it is very fast fashion um, but I do like it and it is relatively cheap depending on what you get um, this dress that I've got today was Zara last year and um, so it does you can take it through into previous years so yeah this is all my favourites that I've got throughout June I'm pretty sure these will take me into um, July and August too so I probably won't create another video because you'll just get bored of me talking about the same stuff over again but yeah I hope you enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up if you did subscribe to my channel and turn the notifications on so you know when I've uploaded and I will see you next time bye